Hey everyone, it's Katie and I'm so glad to introduce you to Julie. Hey Julie, how are you? I'm doing really well. How are you, Katie? I'm good. Um, Julie is a recent graduate of the Awakening Transformation program, and she's agreed to come here and just talk to us a little bit about her experience. And uh, and Julie and I are connecting across the world, so she lives in New That's Zealand really now. Good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Winter time here, so we're not dealing yes. with any of the, the heat. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so exciting because that was a change that came about like right as you were finishing the program. So maybe we'll talk about right, it a yeah. little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about where you were when you first reached out about awakening transformation. You know what was going on in your in your spiritual journey and life that mm -hmm. that prompted you to reach out. Yeah, absolutely. So I had recently completed my coaching certification to become a spiritual life coach, which had been kind of a lifelong journey of something I'd wanted to do, but it was never the right time. And then of course COVID happened. So um, in the beginning of 2022, that was a leap I took as a kind of step forward in my own spiritual journey to learn how to become a coach and help other people along their journeys. And serendipitously your course kind of fell into the tail end of that journey and so i thought it was an amazing next step to further my spiritual journey uh, i was raised a christian and christian by heart but i also really um, intrigued by a lot of the other spiritual tools and always had a bit of a um wasn't sure of the bridge of how to connect the two things so i had been listening to a podcast actually that you were guests on and then started doing a deeper dive into some of the things that you teach and then within a week or two there was a there was an open call uh, to learn more about the awakening and transformation course so i couldn't ignore the signs the universe <laughs> was giving me basically and so that's where i was when i started looking into um more about it uh, that's that's amazing i didn't i didn't i don't think i knew that you had found kind of the group through a podcast so that's really cool um for me yeah. for me to discover now too and I want to also just highlight that you are were already a coach and I love that because you know I'm a coach and I also have people that coach me and so we always kind of mm -hmm. need those ongoing relationships so it's open for coaches too like we don't have to have it perfectly figured out that's totally absolutely. fine yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah and as I recall you were coming from a pretty um conservative kind of Christian immediate background yeah, I do have um, my family, actually on both sides, my side and my husband's side is more conservative Christian. And so that is always a challenge when you're talking about certain spiritual tools, um, especially like Reiki or crystals or things that may seem a little woo woo new age to the conservative Christian sect, which is a struggle because I get along very well with my family. And so sometimes the discussions that can come up are interesting and can be a little bit defensive even uh, they get concerned when anything isn't uh, literally from the Bible but through your course I was able to discover that a lot of the spiritual tools that are discussed in metaphysics are indeed coming straight from the Bible so it's a way to bridge that um, concern and a way to deflect some of the defensiveness that I get from my family when they show concern over um, over the things that may not appear to be Christian, they actually are when you when you change your perspective. And that's some of the things that I work with a lot in my coaching is helping people change their perspective on their spirituality or perhaps they've gotten out of touch with God and aren't sure how to fit that into their professional lives, for instance. Um, there's a lot of different ways to look at things. And as long as we are coming from a place of Jesus in our heart, then our conversations with God are guiding us in the way that we need to be guided. Love it, yes, I could not agree more. Well, tell us maybe one thing that stands out to you from your, your time in the program. Is there an aha moment or kind of a moment of transformation that you remember mm -hmm. now? Um, I think my biggest aha moment was using some of the meditations 
to find out the way that God communicates with me and that I do have a spirit team that's looking out for me. Um, I had always been very frustrated that I never heard God's voice or you hear people that says, God put something in my heart or God told me to do this or I heard this from God and I've never been one of those people that like knew exactly what God wanted for my life. Not saying that I do now, <laughs> but I do have, that door has been opened for me. So through some of the meditations that, um, that are in the course and through some of the journaling, I've learned how to discern those messages a bit clearer than I could before. And I do now use that um, in my own development for my coaching. If I, if I have a decision, I'm not sure which way to proceed or I'm not sure which way God wants me to go, then I do some of those meditations and really, really listen for how God's voice is coming in and what direction my, uh, my angels and spirit guides are giving me. And I find after, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of those meditations, I have answers. I can write yes. them down and, and I, I receive those words. Um, and it's, it's becoming more looking for those synchronicities in life too, which I've started doing, but now it becomes a little bit more clear um, when I know that God's talking to me. My, my clairvoyance is more of kind of the knowing. You know, I don't see things immediately. I don't hear things immediately. But being confident in that knowing and hearing those, those maybe there's just little snippets of words come through, um, gives me the confidence in my faith to know I'm taking the right decision or getting the right message. And I know it's coming from God and my spirit team now. Um, and it's not just a coincidence or yeah. something that's happening out, out there. I know that that's a guided message for me. So I think being able to tap in to um, my spiritual intuition and knowing that my intuition and those maybe those little voices I hear in my head is actually coming from my intuition, coming from a message from God. That's amazing. And that's a gigantic win for like personal life and also for professional yeah. life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. I think that's what that's what's missing from a lot of people's lives is knowing um, do we get so stuck in our heads? Yeah. And the logic of everything and what, what looks good on paper when really we just need to take that time out to uh, listen to that inner spiritual intelligence. And that's really what's going to guide our life. And I think this course really taught me how to tap into mine. That's amazing. That makes me, that makes me just happy for the world. Cause like you're serving <laughs> the world and you know, the more yeah. people we have who are, who are in touch with that, the better. And that, you know, we're never actually alone. Correct. Yeah. yeah. This, this journey can feel really lonely to a lot of people, but when we have our team around us, okay. we're always really surrounded. Exactly. Exactly. And just some of the amazing things that pop up. So yes. I don't want to give it all away, but some of the things that pop up. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and being open to the things that may pop up because you may um, you may realize some things that you didn't. And so I think it's important um, when you're going through this course to just have a really open heart, mind and soul. Yes, you did. And so that's beautiful. <laughs> and, and those who feel like they may not have that yet, don't worry. You know, we'll give you tools. We give you tools to help open Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's yep. all yep. possible. Well, tell us a little bit about um, what you're doing now and how some of these tools are impacting you now. You already shared that a little bit, but you had like mm -hmm. major transitions that were happening uh, towards the end of your I time did. in the program. So I'm curious if some of the tools you were learning kind of helped navigate some of those big transition moments. Yeah, 100%. So towards the end of the program, um, we realized we were going to be relocating to New Zealand. We'd lived there previously, but we had never expected to come back here uh, so soon after moving to the U.S. So we've kind of been going back and forth. But um, a lot of the tools really helped me guide making decisions and realizing what was the correct path and what wasn't. And then um, since we've been here, we've been here just over three months now, um, I've been blessed enough and fortunate enough to be able to try and start my own coaching business. Um, I've kind of been dallying in it before as a side hustle, but now I'm, I'm turning my attention to it full time. <laughs> so that's a hard thing, starting a business, as you probably know, and um, probably some of the people interested in this course may be on the uh, solopreneur, entrepreneurial journey. Right. And there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of doubt that comes into that, a lot of imposter syndrome, a lot of Am I doing the right thing? Am I confident enough to be able to do this? Um, is this truly the path for my life? And the reason that I even took this leap was because I had felt 
something was missing in the corporate world. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. I wasn't really living my why. Um, and I didn't know what my why was. They would say, well, well find your why and then you'll know. Um, and it took a lot of deep diving, soul diving, journaling um, and listening to God to realize that my why is really to help bring harmony and joy to the world. So that's kind of the root of what I believe in. And so that helps guide me on this, on the path I'm on now. And the tools from the course help when I keep those moments of doubt. I hit those moments of um, imposter syndrome. Am I worthy to do this? Is this really my path? Am I just kidding myself that I have these skills? Um, a lot of the tools from the course help me take that step back and look at the big picture and uh, really get in touch with my spiritual intelligence again and go, okay, no, hang on a second. We're letting the letting the brain logic um, be in the fear come in when we actually um, need to come from a place of peace. And that is, you know, where our meditations and our spirituality lies. And um, so the, those tools are continuing to help me along the way. Um, and also the community. So some of the, the community in the, in the Facebook group and everything just points out that there's a whole community of people that um, believe the way we believe. And that, um, you know, Jesus is at the center, but there's a lot of different tools that he's provided in the universe for us to move on our spiritual journeys and allow us to do good works and contribute. So um, being knowing that you have that support system, earthly and godly support yes. system, <laughs> really does help when you're when you're coming up to some of these blocks that you feel um, starting your own business. And it's really helped for, for my coaching clients as well, because some of the tools I can like, kind of help share my my journey and my experience and help them change their perspective on some of the things that they may be missing from their lives as well. That's amazing. And I love your why. Um, what was it to spread harmony and... To bring harmony and joy to the world. Harmony and yeah, joy to the world. To be, I love well, it. Be, yeah, a light worker, essentially, because there's a lot of a lot of darkness out there. And so um, the more we are in that high vibration state, the more we're going to be able to do the best work we can do while we're while we're here on this planet. Yeah, and I, you know, the more of this integration into all the many dimensions and worlds around us, the better, right? The more that we can live into that higher purpose. And just so everyone knows, the whole final module of Awakening Transformation is in fact life purpose. Um, and so I know the whole time we were working together, I was like, when is Julie going to start coaching? And you did, you did, you started coaching, right? Yeah. <laughs> right yeah, as you were completing and making an international move and all of that. Yeah. So it's super exciting just for me to, um, to witness you do all of that, like amazing. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's a journey and it, it continues to be a journey. But some of the things I've learned here um, and the fact that, um, you know, I know you're retooling the course a little bit, but we have access to the modules and the meditations and some of the yeah. things. And, and also the scripture. I love how in the course you do align scripture with a lot of the tools we're using. And, um, I like to go back and, and read and reflect on those things. So that is super helpful with the lifetime access because sometimes you just need to go back and, and do the chakra meditations or read the scriptures that you provided. And um, yeah, it, it just helps reignite everything when I'm feeling like the flame's dying a little bit. Yeah, and, also, and I'm glad you brought that up because there is lifetime access for everyone. That will always, always, always be the case because I know every time I've been in school, It'll be after the semester is over. And then I think, oh, now I get it. And I want to go back and redo everything. And so, yeah, yeah second time, third time, fourth <laughs> time around is sometimes yeah, the most impactful because we're ready yeah. to go to those deeper levels. So absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Well, any, yeah. Yeah, any parting wisdom or, um, or advice that you would give to anyone who, who has made it this far into the video? Um, yeah, I would just say, you know, if you're considering it, but think you might be too busy, you're never too busy to prioritize your spiritual life. Um, and it's Katie's super flexible with how you go through the course. And, you know, if you feel like you may, may need some extra time, I needed some extra time with everything that was going on. Yeah. Um, it really is self-paced. So, you know, if you if you do one of the modules and you feel like you're, it was a big one for you and need, you know, time to reflect on it, absolutely eat fine for that. Um, and the weekly calls are great because you get to connect with some people that are going 
through very similar journeys as you. Um, and you get kind of, for me, it was, it was that support for some of the people in my life that are maybe a little bit critical of some of the, some of the tools that I'm learning, um, being able to have open conversations and be confident in myself that my journey is not the same as someone else's journey, but there is people supporting me on my journey. So uh, I think the flexibility of the course really helps. And there's so many other things that you're going to get introduced to that you may not even thought of that um, really is a, a whole worldwide approach to a lot of the spiritual things that are going out on there. And some of them you're going to resonate with and some of them you may not resonate with, but it is fascinating to learn some of the things that I wasn't aware of. So yeah, really awesome. good. and how it relates back to, yeah, it relates back to Jesus um, and, and the journey as well. So. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here and for sharing some of your story. And uh, just so where yeah. can people find you? Because I think you have your own website. I do have my own website. Um, so it is remarkableparkers.com. So you can find me there. Um, you can also email me jpp at remarkableparkers.com. And if there's anyone who is in their professional life, just feeling a little bit unfulfilled um, and you are wanting to uh, take that step forward or you know really tune into God's voice to figure out what your next move is I can also help with that so please awesome. feel free to visit my website very yeah. cool awesome well thank you so much for being here yeah thank you for having right. me Katie and look forward to continuing our journey together as well yes absolutely